Castello, it's C A S T E L L O W. I'm with the Coffee County Board of Commissioners, and we have already uh, expressed some of our concerns to you, Mr. McConnell, and we appreciate your meeting with us uh, recently. Um, and I believe you already have a copy of the resolution that was passed last night. It was uh, emailed to you. But that kind of focuses in on one thing that, and, and I, I want to underscore what all of these folks have said that, that was about as far as our concerns for all of our citizens. But uh, the one thing that's been mentioned several times, uh, one environment that you've got to consider is the fact that this is such an agricultural community. Uh, and as Mr. Herndon hit on, the technology of agriculture is evolving. And the thing that concerns us most is cover. We have heard again and again uh, as we've talked to um, uh, individuals or representatives from the developer, um, and, and as we've studied it, that the, uh, three, the, the, the three feet of cover uh, seems to be the uh, standard. Uh, that concerned me even more when at a recent uh, commission meeting, Sable uh, representatives were recent, at a recent commission meeting, uh, and I asked them, what is the difference in cost between five feet of cover as opposed to three feet of cover? And they did not answer. Uh, I received a uh, either an email or a phone message recently, I, I wasn't able to talk to the person, who said they, they are not ignoring me, but they are studying that and they'll let us know. Uh, and to this day, I still don't know the difference in expense between three feet of cover and five feet of cover. Now, the reason that is so significant in this environment is because as many of these people have said, we have a lot of tillable land that's already out there. And if you have, uh, in, in South Georgia, one thing that is significant to tillable land is the ability to irrigate it. <coughs> if you cannot irrigate it, then the productivity of that land is greatly reduced. Uh, which has a significant impact on, the, on, on, on our number one industry. And the standard for the underground water pipes leading to the center pivot irrigation systems is three feet deep. So if they have three feet of coverage, then that whole corridor is going to knock out any irrigation, not just in that one spot, but in that whole corridor. Now, in studying this um, issue, we have seen that uh, in other agricultural areas of the country, and, and I'm thinking in particular in Indiana, uh, the developers, for want of a better term, reached an agreement or an accommodation where they agreed to a standard of five feet of cover in agricultural lands. And agricultural lands were identified in an objective manner and so that so so that it could be determined from a, an objective standard. <clears throat> Three feet of cover coming through Copper County and Mitchell County and other agricultural counties is, is going to be have a huge impact, not just in one little spot, but throughout the whole corridor. Thousands and probably tens of thousands of acres. So we, number one, object if they're looking to three feet of cover. And number two, and this was part of the commission resolution uh, that, that FERC received, uh, I believe, today, is that FERC require five feet of cover, a minimum of five feet of cover, in these agricultural lands. And you're going to find, as I'm, I'm sure you've already found, that a significant percentage of the lands this 
this pipeline would be going through a nice uh, present uh, uh, map uh, with the agricultural lands. Now, as an indication of, 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 of that cover problem, um, and this is kind of related, uh, we have a lot of dirt roads in Copper County, as, as most rural counties do. And as, as part of the maintenance of those dirt roads, uh, we have to go out and scrape them periodically. And we also have to uh, go in and re-scrape. And I wish I had Charles Weathers here, but we have to go in and re-dig the, um, re-pull the uh, drainage ditches on either side of those. We have a couple of, at least a couple of dirt roads in Cockpit County <coughs> where we'll, uh, uh, under which the Tennessee pipeline passes. Now, back when that was put in in the 50s, it may have been deep enough so that it wasn't an issue, but where it passes under at least a couple of dirt roads in Coffee County, that 10 inch pipeline is exposed. Yes. And we cannot scrape that ditch in those areas. Now, that's a dangerous situation already. So they also when they're looking at dirt roads in a rural area, they need to be looking at a lot more cover than three feet. And not only that, but you've got to consider where you're measuring that three feet. Are you measuring it from the crown of that dirt road, or are you going to measure it from the bottom of that ditch? So without, without flogging a dead horse, we urge you to consider and require cover that's appropriate for this environment. Three feet simply is not. Thank you. Thanks.